Hi everyone, this video is going to cover angle properties of polygons. The learning goal for this video is to learn how to determine missing interior and exterior angles of polygons using geometric properties. So we're going to be looking at simulations here that are going to uncover some geometric properties that are going to be very useful for us when we're um, going to solve some problems involving polygons. So here we have a simulation that's going to look at the relationship between the number of sides of a polygon and the sum of its exterior angles. So remember an exterior angle is an angle outside of a polygon and those are created when each side here is extended on one end. So we know for a fact that for a triangle the sum of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees. So for a four-sided shape here, in this case a quadrilateral, uh, no matter how I move this quadrilateral, you can see on the bottom here that the sum of those four angles is always 360 degrees. Now, what happens if I increase the number of sides by one? You notice that, again, no matter how I move this polygon, or this pentagon, the sum of those angles is always 360 degrees. Okay? So, when we're looking at a hexagon here, on six sides no matter what again the sum is always 360 degrees and that's true okay for a seven-sided shape an eight-sided shape a nine-sided shape or a ten-sided shape okay so another way of looking at it is okay, through this kind of a simulation here so again we're looking at the exterior angles of each polygon okay so on a triangle here the angles here come together to make a full circle, 360 degrees. If we look at a quadrilateral, if I slide this over, you can see that those four angles collected together make a full circle, 360 degrees, okay? and so on. Okay? I'll show you a five-sided shape. So again, if I slide it over, all five of those angles come to be a full circle. So no matter the polygon, the sum of those exterior angles is always 360 degrees. Now we're going to look at the interior angles now. So in a triangle, we know that the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. Now you can see all the, um, on the chart on the right there that for a four-sided shape, it says that there's the number of triangles, which is two, and so the sum of the interior angles doubles, okay? Because there's two triangles, so the sum is um, uh, 360 degrees. So what does that mean? So you can see here with this quadrilateral here, they've split this into two triangles, okay? So remember that each triangle has 180 degrees. So that means two triangles will be 180 plus another 180, so that'll be 360 degrees. Now, if we move this so that now we're looking at a five-sided pentagon, okay, now you can see that we can cut a pentagon into three triangles. Right? So again, 180 here, 180 degrees in this triangle, and another 180 degrees in this third triangle will make 540 degrees. Okay. Now, if we have a six-sided shape, notice that we can split this into four triangles. So now we add another 180 degrees to it. Okay? So this pattern continues on to seven sides, eight sides, nine sides, and ten sides. So we can see here that the number of triangles in a shape is always two less than the number of sides in a pentagon. Okay, so if there was a 20-sided shape, there would be 18 triangles. Right? And now the sum of the interior angles depends um, on the number of triangles inside. Right? So you can see that for one triangle, it's 180 degrees. Then for two triangles, it's 180 times 2. And then if we look here for, um, for a 10-sided shape, there are 8 triangles. So 8 times... 180 is 1,440. So we can actually use this fact to help us find the sum of the interior angles of an n-gon. So we can use this relationship. Okay? So the sum of the interior angles of any polygon 
we can say it's n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So s is the sum of those interior angles, and n is the number of sides of that polygon. So like I said before, if you have um, a polygon of 10 sides, we can just take away 2. So there's 8 triangles in there. Okay, and each triangle has 180 degrees, so that's why we multiply by 180. Okay, so we can use this uh, relationship to help us to solve problems that are asked of us if, we're, if we need to know uh, the sum of the interior angles of any polygon. So let's look at this first question here. So we have a polygon there, and we're asked to find the sum of the interior angles. So what we really need to do is we need to find out well, how many sides does this polygon have? Right, so we can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine sides to this. Okay. Now what we're going to do then is because if I know that there are nine sides, there are actually nine minus two triangles. Right? So I can say if there are nine sides, okay, that means that inside the shape there are seven triangles. Okay. So we can do 7 times 180 degrees. So that'll give us 1,260 degrees. Okay. Now if you wanted to use that relationship where it said s is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees, okay, you can use this as well. We can say that the sum is equal to, for a shape like this, okay, has 9 sides. So we write 9 minus 2 times 180. 9 take away 2 is 7. So it's 7 times 180 degrees. So you can see it's the exact same thing as if we use some sort of uh, a bit of reasoning here. So uh, 7 times 180 is 1,260 degrees. All right, now let's look at um, a problem involving a regular polygon. So a regular polygon has equal interior angles and equal side lengths. So in this case here, as you can see, each, each side here is exactly the same length, and each angle inside here are identical. Okay. So how would you determine the measure of one interior angle of a regular pentadecagon, which is a 15-sided shape? Well. I want to know the sum of all of those 15 angles first. Okay, So I can do, if there are 15 sides to this shape, then we know that there are 13 triangles inside here. Right? Remember, there's always two fewer triangles than there are sides. So then I can do 13 times 180 degrees. And that will get us 2,300 40 degrees. Now, there are 15 angles in here and they're all the same. So what I need to do now is I'm going to divide 2,340 degrees with 15 angles. And that will get me 156 degrees. So each angle inside a pentadecagon is 156 degrees. Now that's only true if it's a regular pentadecagon. So if we know the number of sides of a polygon, then we know how many uh, degrees is the sum of their interior angles. We can go the other way too. If we know the sum of the interior angles, we should know how many sides there are in that polygon. So in this problem here, it's asking us or it's telling us that the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 3,420 degrees. How could we find the number of sides of this polygon? Well, 3,420 degrees is how many triangles inside of a polygon. So the way that we can figure that out is we can do 3,420 degrees. If we divide that by 180, oh, there's our degrees. Okay. If we divide that, that will tell us how many triangles there are. And that will be 19 triangles. So remember, the number of triangles is always 2 less. So if there are 19 triangles, then that means that this has 21 sides. Okay, we just add 2. Okay, so we just add 2. 
Now, if you wanted to use the relationship that we have built, we have s is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Okay. Um, the s stands for the sum. So in this case, that's 3,420 degrees is equal to n minus 2 times 180. Okay. These are degrees. So uh, if we wanted to solve this equation, what we can do is, because this 180 degrees is multiplying by this term n minus 2, we can actually divide both sides by 180 to eliminate that factor. So those will divide away. So we have left here n minus 2 is equal to um, 19. Now, uh, it says here n minus 2, so to remove that minus 2, I can add 2, of course. So then, uh, I'm just going to move it over here. So 21 will equal n. So the number of sides in that polygon is 21. So the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 2,700 degrees. So how many sides does this polygon have? So again, pause the video, give this question a try, and then press play when you're uh, ready to see an answer. Okay, let's see what, uh, how many sides this polygon has. So remember, if you want to use the formula, so S is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. The sum here is 2,700. So that number goes where the S is. Okay. Is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. So again, 180 degrees here, we can divide that away on both sides. Now if we divide those two, that will be 15. So 15 is equal to n minus 2. Now, to solve this equation, we just add 2 to both sides. So n here will be 17. So there are 17 sides. Okay. Now, Let's try to uh, solve this problem by reasoning it out instead. So remember that if there are 2,700 degrees here, we can divide that by 180 to find out how many triangles there are. Okay. So that will be 15 triangles. Now, we know that there are always two fewer triangles than there are sides, so that means that all we need to do is we just add 2, and that will get us 17 sides. Okay, so one way is through an equation, but you may also want to just use uh, the relationship between sides and the triangles inside them. Okay, so uh, I hope that video makes uh, things a little bit more clear in terms of angles interior and exterior of polygons.